We all wonder now and again who the wealthiest people in the world are. Well, let me tell you. It's the person with a loving family and supporting community. Well... Not according to Forbes, though. So who are the people with the highest net worth? The movers and shakers? The centa billionaires that shape industries? Well, yet again, in the spirit of unequal distribution, we're gonna take a look at the top 10 richest people in the world. So get that score sheet out and get ready to guess who's ranked where. Number 10, Steve Ballmer. Ice tea, ice tea, ice tea. Ice tea. Ice tea. At the bottom of our list of incredibly wealthy individuals, we have Steve Ballmer with a net worth of $107 billion. That's right, folks. Even number 10 on our list is a Senta billionaire. Ballmer is an American businessman, investor, and former chief executive officer of Microsoft. He's also an avid sports enthusiast. And like most people, he enjoys a game of basketball now and then. He did eventually get tired of cussing out the coaches from behind his TV screen, so he did the thing every sports fan wishes they could do. He bought the LA Clippers back in 2014 for an astounding $2 billion, presumably so he could do the yelling in person. Steve Ballmer became the 10th richest person in the world, in no small part thanks to his association with Microsoft. His $333.3 million worth of shares in Microsoft stock, and being the CEO of Microsoft for about 14 years, certainly put a couple dollars in his bank account. Long before Steve Ballmer made his way to number 10 on this prestigious King Luxury list, he was a statistically special baby. Born in 1956 in Detroit, Michigan, he lived a rather affluent life in the rich community of Farmington Hills. These days, Steve spends time with his wife, Connie Snyder, and his three children, presumably enjoying basketball. Number 9. Warren Buffett my, my partner, Charlie Munger, told me 50 years ago, he says, if you want to guarantee yourself a life of misery, Marry somebody with the idea of changing them. Number nine on this list, by a small margin, is the famed frugal billionaire coming in with a net worth of $108 billion. Known as the Oracle of Omaha, Warren Buffett is an incredibly successful and prolific investor. He runs Berkshire Hathaway, which owns more than 60 companies, from battery making to restaurants. If it can make money, Warren Buffett is milking that cow for all it's worth. Buffett is known for a couple of things. Being an apparently frugal billionaire, choosing not to buy the fastest sports cars or live in the largest mega mansions. Instead, frugally spending billions of dollars, acquiring companies, and investing in new businesses. He's also known for his charity work. Buffett promised to donate over 99% of his wealth, and has so far managed to give away more than $45 billion, mostly to the Gates Foundation and his kids' foundations, yet still sits pretty up top on the list of richest billionaires. In 2010, he and Bill Gates launched the Giving Pledge, asking billionaires to commit to donating at least half of their wealth to charitable causes. The pledge has attracted many people with heavy purses, including billionaires Elon Musk and Larry Ellison. These days, when Buffett isn't paying a lower tax rate than his secretary, he's spending time in his $652,000 Omaha home. Number 8. Sergey Brin I'm Sergey Brin. I'm uh, from Google, and uh, prior to that, I was a PhD student at Stanford. Next up, we have one of the two brains behind Google. And legends say when you mention them in your videos, the algorithm blesses you with twice as many views. Don't be too surprised a founder of Google is on this list. After all, you are watching this video on YouTube, which is a subsidiary of Google, which is also a subsidiary of Alphabet, which Sergey Brin just happens to be the co-founder, former president, controller shareholder, and board member of. In short, of course he's rich. Sergey's resume is pretty long, but it's not nearly as long as his bank account, though. Sergey has a net worth of $120 billion. Can't be the founder of our future technological overlord and not be worth a few billion dollars. Outside of Google, Bryn works on a few more personal projects. He and Larry Page are trying to help solve the world's energy and climate problems, for example, investing in offshore wind power and more energy-efficient cars. And like apparently every other billionaire, Bryn has put money in the billionaire space race, investing $4.5 million in Space Adventures, a Virginia-based space tourism company. Space Adventures has managed to send at least seven tourists above the atmosphere so far. So is he winning the space race now? Let me know in the comments. Number 7. Larry Ellison I think my favorite line is, I had all the disadvantages necessary for success. Next up, we have the Oracle of Silicon Valley coming in hot, with a net 
worth of $122 billion. Larry Ellison made his incredible amount of money by being the CEO and founder of a little tech company known as Oracle, a company that might not be much of a household name, but has a net worth of $239 billion. Households be damned, apparently. Before Larry grabbed the coveted title of seventh richest person in the world, he was briefly the richest person in the world back in the 1990s. He was also at various times the highest paid executive in the world, with a salary reaching up to $90 million. Larry Ellison's tale of wealth is pretty unique by billionaire standards. He was born in New York City and was put up for adoption as a toddler. He spent his youth in a middle-class neighborhood in Chicago's South Shore. After dropping out from two universities, he found himself working in the tech industry, which influenced him to create Oracle, a program successful enough to compete with Sybase and Microsoft SQL Server. These days, Allison is living on his own private Hawaiian island called Lanai, which he bought nearly all of for $300 million. He's also sitting pretty on Tesla's board after purchasing $3 million in Tesla shares. Number 6. Mark Zuckerberg Mark? Are the allegations true that you are secretly a lizard? Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go with no on that. Uh, I, I, am, I am not a lizard. Number six on our list doesn't really need much of an introduction. I mean, who doesn't know Marky Z? And if you don't, just wait till Meta takes off and your smart fridge starts to sound like your friendly neighborhood billionaire. Most of Zuckerberg's wealth comes from his shares in Facebook. I know, shocker. He has a net worth of $123 billion. Being the founder and CEO of Facebook will do that to you. Or should I say Meta? Facebook Inc. has gone through quite the rebranding recently, presumably because of everyone memeing on them for over 10 years. Back in 2004, Zuckerberg launched Facebook, originally named The Facebook, starting off the long history of weird names Zuckerberg likes to give things. On top of being the CEO of Facebook, he owned around 400 million total shares in the company, giving Mark 58% of the company's total voting power. So whatever problem you have with Facebook, it's all Mark's fault. Yes, including that time you posted your nudes on Facebook by mistake, Mark did it. These days, in between hearings before Congress, Mark spends his time in one of his many homes with his wife Priscilla Chan and his two daughters, and of course, chilling in the metaverse. Number 5. Larry Page And we started just looking at things like YouTube. Can we understand YouTube? Uh, but we actually yeah. ran machine learning on YouTube and it discovered cats just by itself. And that that's an important concept. The next entry on this list shouldn't come as much of a surprise, although I am a little surprised by the wide margin between this Google founder and the last one. Just like Sergey Brin, Larry Page is also a Google man, helping co-found Google in 1998. He was also the CEO of Alphabet for a while. So here we go, prey into the YouTube algorithm. Larry Page graduated from Stanford University, where he met his Google co-founder, Sergey Brin, and together, they invented Google's page rank algorithm, which helps catapult the website to success, eventually helping Larry reach his net worth of $125 billion. Although Larry's net worth doesn't just come from his ties to Google, not to get left behind in the billionaire space race, he's a founding investor in space exploration company Planetary Resources. He's also invested in the funding of flying car startups Kitty Hawk and Opener. If you can't conquer space, you can at least conquer the sky. These days, when Larry isn't gathering every tiny bit of information about you, he's cruising around in his Tesla X, or chilling on his 193-foot mega yacht. Number 4. Bill Gates But the good news is that the faster we improve health, the faster family size goes down. Next, we have a man who hasn't left the top five richest people in the world list for a very long time now. American business magnate, software developer, and investor, Bill Gates. Let's face it, you knew he was going to be on this list. You just wanted to know what spot. Gates is and has been one of the most popular rich people in the world. After all, it is his name you curse in a rage when your PC crashes again. And that's because you're statistically more likely to be using a Windows computer. Because 
because Microsoft is an absolutely gargantuan corporation. And guess who's the co-founder and former CEO of said massive corporation? That's right, Bill Gates. And it's fattened his wallet quite a bit. Gates has a net worth of $138 billion, which, despite all his noble charitable endeavors, just won't stop growing. Despite stepping down as CEO of Microsoft, Gates has refused to retire, pursuing many business and philanthropic endeavors. We all know the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, although the name is a little awkward now, thanks to his divorce in 2021. It turns out Bill's idea of an island vacation is the kind of thing that puts normal people on a list you don't want to be on. That didn't exactly help his marriage. These days, when Bill isn't trying very, very hard to give away all his money, he's starring in many different types of conspiracy videos all over the internet. Number three, Jeff Bezos. I also I want to thank uh, every Amazon employee and every Amazon customer because you guys paid for all of this. Formerly number one on everybody's richest person in the world list, Bezos dropped down a couple positions in 2021, which unfortunately means the Bond villain jokes don't hit as hard anymore. Bezos has a net worth of $195 billion, which once upon a time had people speculating he would be the next trillionaire. 2021 sure was full of surprises. Being the founder, CEO, president, and chairman of the board of Amazon.com, a company that has grown substantially in the past couple of years, thanks to everyone's renewed desire to stay at home and isolate, for some reason. Bezos is very likely going to stay a part of the top three richest people in the world for the foreseeable future. Heck, he might even make a comeback. After all, he does still own about 55 million shares in Amazon, one of the largest companies in the United States. All this despite his divorce from ex-wife Mackenzie Scott back in 2019. His divorce might have set him back a few billion, thanks to a settlement that dropped his net worth to $114 billion. But it's only taken a couple of years for old Jeffrey to bounce back. He recently shot himself into the edge of space in a rocket built by Blue Origin, Bezos' very own rocket company. And despite many people signing a petition for him not to come back, he failed to please his loyal customers and did. These days, when Bezos isn't partying with his new girlfriend, he's competing in the billionaire space race and winning. Bernard Arnault. I think we want to show that it's possible for big organizations, for large companies, to be close to startups and to help startups. Just barely at number two, we have the recently short-lived former richest person in the world. That's right, Bernard Arnault was the richest person in the world for a few months back in 2021. If you didn't know, you're clearly not watching enough King Luxury. Bernard Arnault is still by a wide margin the richest person in France, the richest person in Europe, and the richest person in fashion. He has a net worth of $198 billion. Yet not too many people out here talking about my man Bernard, even though he's already been the richest person in the world three times now. He grabbed the title back in 2019 and 2020. With the sheer number of pies this man has his fingers in, I'm a little surprised he doesn't just stay number one. He oversees an empire of over 70 brands, including Louis Vuitton and Sephora. Bernard deals in luxury goods ranging from fashion, wines, watches, perfumes, cosmetics, and even pastries. That's right, the pie thing I said earlier wasn't just a metaphor. These days, Bernard is either working with his four children, Frédéric, Delphine, Antoine, and Alexandre, to run the family business. Or he's chilling on his $150 million, 333-meter yacht called Symphony. Number 1. Elon Musk No, I am not the evil, I just uh, misunderstood. And here we have the richest person in the world, with an insane net worth of $1 trillion. Nah, I'm just kidding. Yeah, for now. Musk actually has a net worth of $283 billion, placing him far ahead of former number one richest man Jeff Bezos by almost $100 billion. And Musk's commercial space travel hasn't even taken off yet. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Elon Musk is another incredibly popular rich person. He's a South African-born, Canadian-American. He's a businessman, inventor, investor, and CEO of SpaceX. And with the sheer amount of cameo 
cameos he's had, might as well toss actor in there as well. Elon Musk has had a rather successful career in the tech industry, making his first software sale when he was only 12 years old. Musk's first company was called Zip2 Corporation, which he sold for $307 million in cash and $34 million in stock options. After which, he co-founded X.com, which led to the creation of PayPal, which was sold to eBay for $1.5 billion in stock. In true Elon Musk fashion, he's managed to turn SpaceX into a $74 billion company and put Tesla at the forefront of expensive electric cars, landing him on the front of Time magazine as person of the year in 2021. These days, when Musk isn't busy trying to colonize Mars, Mars. He's showing up on your TV. Either he's being interviewed, or he's being exactly as funny as you expect a tech billionaire to be. Who's your favorite billionaire on the list? It's Musk, isn't it? It always is. If you like lists like this, though, you should click on the video on the screen and check out our list on the top 5 richest CEOs in the world.